In this example, we'll use Kirchhoff's current law, also called KCL, to find the currents in a circuit. Kirchhoff's current law basically says in a circuit, at a, any given circuit node, the sum of the currents coming in is equal to the sum of the currents going out. Okay? Using this law, let's work on a uh, simple example. Here's a circuit with a number of elements, A through H. Few of the currents are given. For example, IA is 2 amps. IC is given as negative 3 amps. IG is given as 6 amps. And IH is 1 amps. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 more currents that need to be found. So our goal is to use Kirchhoff's current law to find what the values for those currents. Okay, Let's start out with this node right here. At that node, the current coming into that node is IB. Current coming into that node is IB. The current going out of that node is IA and IC. So applying KCL at this node, we get IB is equal to IA plus IC. Now IA and IC are both given. So the value of IB is 2 minus 3, which is negative 1 amp. So we now know IB. Now let's take a look at this node right here. At that node, the currents coming in are IC and IH, and the current leaving the node is IE. So using KCL again, some of the currents coming in, IC plus IH, should be equal to IE. So IC plus IH is equal to IE. IE can be now calculated as negative 2 amps. Let's take a look at this node right here. Although in this particular circuit picture, it looks like there are two separate nodes, this and this. Since there's no element between these two nodes, these two nodes are actually the same node. So they are, this big node is one single node. The current coming into this big node, IE and IG. Current going out of that node, ID and IB. So using Kirchhoff's current at this node, we can write some of the currents coming in, IE plus IG equals current going out, IB plus ID. So IE plus IG equals IB plus ID. Now we know the values of IE, we just calculated that. Uh, IG is given as 6 amps. IB we calculated earlier, so we can find ID as being equal to 5 amps. Let's move on to this circuit node right here. In that circuit node, current coming in, IA and ID. Current leaving that node is IF. So the sum of the current coming in, IA plus ID, should equal to IF based on KCL. So IF can be calculated as 7 amps. So we calculated all four unknown currents. Now there's one node that we've not used. This particular node, this particular node has current IF coming into the node. IG and IH are leaving the node. We just calculated the value of current coming in IF as being 7 amps. We just calculated that as 7 amps. We have we were given the value of IG and IS as 6 amps and 1 amps. So the current coming in IF is 7 amps. The current leaving that node, IG plus IH, 6 plus 1, is also 7 amps, which verifies that our calculations done earlier are actually correct. So you can use the extra nodes that might remain in a circuit to look back and check your answers.